Hello, welcome to Simple or Difficult. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top three mass scripts that I use from my day-to-day -day renders. So these scripts are what I use to make my life easier. Because mind you, whatever these scripts can help you do, there's a way you can do without them, all right? So the scripts we're going to be talking about in this video is Copy Tool, Image Comp Helper, and then Relink Bitmap, okay? These scripts can be, most of them, you can get them for free and at the script spots, all right? But this Copy Tool, you have to make a donation before you get it, all right? And I'm going to be starting with Copy Tool. All right, so click on Copy Tool. It is going to bring out this dialog box for you, all right? What this Copy Tool does for you is, it helps you to copy and paste objects from one 3 years scene to the other. If you are using 3DS Max, you should know by now that you cannot do Ctrl C and Ctrl V. You cannot copy and paste between two different 3DS Max scenes. So that is where Copy Tool comes in. All right. So now you can select what you want in this scene and then click on this copy tool here and then go over to the scene that you want and then click on the paste that way you have bypassed that or you can just go to the scene you want select what you want like let's say i, I have a box in this scene all right and i just come over here and then i do export selected okay export selected will export this thing out And then you go over to the new scene and then you just when you come over there you will now import it and merge it into the scene that you want but with this copy tool you just go over there click on the copy tool then click on copy one you have up to six slots where you can copy things into and what happens is that when you know this place i already have something in here if i click copy again it's going to overwrite it with this box so when you go to the scene you want to paste whatever that is you just click on the image itself it is going to paste it for you that way you have done your copy and paste without having to export and then import and merge all right so the next one is uh is this one we already talked about it works very well with camera so i'm going to just go ahead and just draw a camera okay so we can move along easily I'm gonna select uh, select the corona camera and then I'm just gonna draw it up man I just draw it anyhow you want I just want to show you something with it so um let me go ahead and select two viewports put my camera on this view okay make it solid so with this now you can use the image compare bar. I've already done a tutorial about this what it does is it helps you frame your you know do your composition properly in 3ds Max by giving you these um composition guides and also helping you with aspect ratios and then camera focal length okay that you can just click and it, will, it, it just basically makes your life easier for you okay but these things you can always do them in the camera settings you can always change your aspect ratios in the render settings but here it gives you a preset that you can we can see the way it's changing this thing for you you can change it to different types of guides that will help you frame your images properly you can even put the golden spiral like so and then you can use it to frame things you want to be in frame the way you want them to be okay so that's the the script number two so now the script number three that i would like us to talk about let me just remove this save frame by hitting shift f is the relink bitmap all right you know usually when you import and you merge a 3ds max model let's say you are working with a car and you then you downloaded a car and you bring it in and you import them all right what happens is that sometimes if not sometimes most times the model will come in but the map that are associated with that model would need a little bit of relinking for it to happen all right so you can there are very ways you can go into your customer ui and then relink it from there or you can just come over here go to asset tracking okay or you can hit shift, shift key and come over here, go to the part. I think I might have to import something so I can be able to show you this thing properly. All right, so I just imported something. I imported the, this um, desk over here. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let me just put it inside frame over here. Okay, let me select my camera. Let me raise it up by, in fact, let me do it manually. Okay, as you can see, we have this stuff over here. All right, we have the reception desk over there. We can see that now. When we open a relink bitmap, you're not going to see that this amount of map is missing. All right, a lot of ways you can do this, but with this, you can set your parts. Okay, if you if this file is relocated where you saved it is in your download, you can just come over here, click on the download but on the download part that you have saved over here, and just click on relink, and it's going to load like so, and it's going to relink all this map for you. Okay. 
the ones that are not relinked, you know, probably might not be needed anymore. Okay, as you can see, everything is here. So now to be able to create this saved part, all you need to do is click on this plus button, click on this triple dot, and then you can go to where you want. You know, you can select the desktop, you can select your pictures, and then you hit select folder, and then you hit add. It's going to add it here for you. So now you can just select this part and then, you know, relink it. There's nothing there, so it's not going to relink anything for you. Okay, you can select document and relink. Okay, so that way it is easier for you to do these things. That's why I use, I use copy tool, I use image comp helper, I use relink big map. There are other scripts that I used, but I is not something I use all the time. So that's why I say this is a video about the top three mass script that I use all the time in my day-to-day -day rendering. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was insightful for you. If it is, please hit the like button for us. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And also turn on the notification button so you don't miss any of our future tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.